Good morning, Eagles. Please stand for our morning prayer. Today is Thursday, February 15th, 2024. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We hear in today's gospel, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain? The whole world, yet lose for forfeit himself. Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord, and our God, we give praise and thanks to you once again for waking us up this morning. We ask you, Lord, to be with us throughout this day. May we be like your Son, our Lord Jesus, in carrying our own crosses like a true disciple of the Lord. May those who bear the burden of sickness, financial difficulties, and weariness of life may join their sufferings to the cross of Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. St. Margaret Mary, pray for us. Now please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Eagles. On today's episode of Eagle TV, we have Nerd History and Weather with Eve. Get ready because you do not want to miss this show. What is up, SM? I'm Laura Lee. And I'm Sienna Martinez. Let's first get started with some announcements. Early registration for senior pilgrimage ends tomorrow. Make sure to sign up on your campus life teams. Here is a scholarship opportunity for students of Italian descent. Seniors can apply at ociaca.com for a scholarship for college, trade school, or a grant to study Italian in Italy this summer. Our other scholarship in UC Santa Barbara's research opportunities for 10th grade and 11th grade. There's, there are upper options for STEM, humanities, and social science field. Apply at summer.ucsb.edu. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Sienna, did you do anything fun? Yeah, it was great. I got my friends some Valentines. What about you? Nice. I kind of hang out with friends and we ate a bunch of chocolate. Chocolates are really good. I love the candy hearts too. I know there's some mixed opinions on those. I think those are pretty good. Speaking of good things, we have Jack here to tell us some facts about the world of gaming. Take it away, Jack. And there. The face cam got corrupt and you won't see my face for the rest of this video. Man, that would suck if my camera died. Hello everyone, welcome to Nerd History. Of course it breaks. It's time for Plan B. Skyrim, Baldur's Gate, GTA 5, they're all staples of video games and they all have something big in common. It's the fact that they're open world. Now, what started this? My first thought would be Zelda Breath of the Wild since you can run, jump, and climb anything. Then I thought GTA 5. It was released four years earlier. Then, my teacher, in his holiness, said Skyrim. You mean to tell me I have an excuse to talk about Skyrim again? As someone who's pushing 600 hours in the game, I will take any opportunity I can. Skyrim was released in 2011, two years before GTA. So, if Skyrim is what started it, then what's the why? Well, it's because it lets you be whoever you want to be. It gives you choices and options which have proven to draw more players in. But that means you have to polish the entire world. If anyone can go anywhere, then they're going to go everywhere. So for a game that lets you do whatever you want, it comes at a cost. Time. It takes time to make games like this. So is it really worth it? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. These games are all still being played to this day and being enjoyed by all ages. So while time is of the essence to everyone else, I'm kind of out of it. See you later, SM. That was so interesting. It's always cool to learn about what's going on in the world of video games. For sure. I'm also interested in figuring out what's going on with the weather. I know the weather has been kind of confusing recently, but thankfully we have Eve in the studio to update us. Good morning, Eve. Take it away. Good morning, SM. I'm Eve Vetter, and I'm here with the weather and surf update. Going to the weather for this weekend, starting off with today and Friday, highs of 64 and 67, lows of 43 and 46. Saturday and Sunday with partly cloudy skies, highs of 67 and 63 and lows of 48 and 47. Monday and Tuesday with rain, high of 56 and 60 and lows of 50 and 49. And finally Wednesday, partly cloudy skies with a high of 60 and a low of 46. 
Now going into the surfer court, the first beach will be Aliso Creek Beach with waves of one to two feet and winds of four knots. Second beach will be Salt Creek Beach with waves of two to three feet and winds of four knots. Last but not least, T Street Beach with waves of two to three feet and winds of four knots. Well, that is all I have for the weather and surf update. I'm Yvette sending it back to the host in the studio. Thank you so much. Now I can know what to wear all week. Me too. Well, that's all we have for you, SM. I'm Laura Lee. And I'm Sienna Martinez. Have an amazing four-day weekend, SM. Thank you.